Greetings everyone, Sourcaps here, and welcome back to my Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. You might notice a few differences between this video and the last one. Um, my computer crashed right after doing a bunch of recording, and I actually lost not only that footage, but my presentation layout, so... Got it back as close to as I can, without having written down some of the settings. Really quickly, I'll tell you what you missed in the episode that is no more. I went through the Orberg Gate, and the very last trainer there, the Bidoof, we lost Bert. The... Oh God, not Petalil. The Badoo. We went and caught Paula the Ponyta up here in Route 207. Then we actually made it all the way through the Orberg Mine, catching a Geodude. And now we came up here to grind. And that's where we left off. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get up to... Oh, I'd like to be level... 11 or 12 for most of them. So, we'll just see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be all smoothly. I'm hoping Paula can learn a fire attack. Though if we have to use her, she can... Use her special attack to get through any rock types physical defense. Wow, Paula, you must be a pretty fat pony. Then again, that makes sense. Hope to get Malona water attack. Although, Rarbert's still going to be our best bet for the gym. Just because he can take a hit pretty well. And does have a grass attack. Oh, we also evolved our Cricketot Charlotte into a Cricketoon and taught her Rock Smash. So that's the other thing that you missed. That and I forgot to turn on the sound. Which is apparently just my thing. That that's that's my thing for starting an episode. I remind myself before I start, turn on the sound. Then I forget to turn on the sound. And sadly, the video recording tools I have actually come with a repair video function, but it doesn't recognize that file as being broken. You know, normally I don't get so high before the gym, but if I remember correctly, he's got a... Kranidos is actually pretty tough to deal with, so... And do we can. Ooh, Malone. Come on. Yes! Oh, good job, Paula. Water gun, maybe? Huh? Yes! Alright. So I'm actually going to stop leveling him up for a bit. So I can go take him into the mine later. We'll go heal up Paula. And we can level him up faster there. Although he'll do good. Actually, he'll do good either way of place, but... Oh, I guess I can say it again since the footage is gone for that one, but I'm actually pretty happy with this party makeup. You know, when things, assuming everything evolves, we'll have a two water types, which isn't great, but it's not bad either. And we got some good coverage everywhere else. And since nobody got to see it, here's Paula's stats. She's a lonely little ponyta, who is officially our fastest party member. No more of this tie. And then, give you a quick peek at Farah. Whoops. Not really a summary. Wow. Be careful, Geodude. Um, 
One thing to note is, right now, even if I wanted to put her on my team, because she'd be better than, say, Zubat for the gym, I can't. My rules about the PC are, I can only deposit Pokemon if it's required for an HM move, required for the story, or um, my Pokemon's overleveled. And the only thing I can pull out of a Pokemon, pull out of the PC is whatever the lowest level Pokemon that will fix whatever situation I'm in. So if it's an HM Pokemon, it has to be the lowest level one it can, that it could possibly be. If it's a um, story Pokemon, I can, it'll probably go and deposit that one immediately too. But, otherwise it's the lowest level Pokemon. Just to keep it from me planning it out too much. To sort of stick with what I got. And if it doesn't work out, got something else. Man, those Geodudes aren't worth much experience, are they? Well, if, but I'd rather fight more Ponyta. I was also really surprised we didn't get him a chop, because we are playing at night, so I think Ponies is actually a lot rarer. Hmm. Oh man, you take way too much damage from those kicks. But you got this, you got this, Paula. I have no idea why I named her Paula, by the way. Oh, that's a pretty good experience. Which happens to be in my sister's name. Which is weird. I guess because she's short and fiery. This is probably going to take a while. I'm tempted to fast forward this and then um, put it up to music or something. Which I might if it takes too long, but I'm also making these trying to do as little editing as possible so I don't come up with excuses not to post them. So if I can, I'd rather just make you sit through the grinding as well. I mean, I gotta do it. Oh no, Paula, you've been light. You've been leeched. Come on. Alright, good. Oh, that was the other thing you would have missed is my Zubat missing with Supersonic over and over and over again. <laughs> Couldn't even go back and fight. More bad you. Excuse me. It's not like she has a fire attack either. After I get her to level to whatever level's next, I think she's nine already. I should switch over to somebody else. And then if I run into a Machop, I can pull out somebody better suited to deal with Machops. Be for you to the crap. Uh, if I'm lucky, this will be it. Just 
speed queen power. Ooh, you got some good defense. That's that defense is exactly why uh we lost Bert. He had really, really bad defense. I think it was like an eleven. Man, it just <sighs> one once again, one turn away from winning. And I would have had to have been like, oh yeah, there's for sure gonna be a critical hit because he was still at about like half his health. Oh, f I said those goddamn words, didn't I? I said it had to be a crit. <sighs> well, don't give up the experience. Why did I say those words? Well, so much for the uh, time spent leveling up Paula two or three levels. That was that was a good use of time, right? We'll go get our Geo Dude out. Come on, you can take this. Damn it! <laughs> I really like Ponyta. I really, really do. It's one of my favorite fire types, even though I'm really not a great fire type. Just run though, come on. I'm not gonna let her get that much damage done to something and then run from it. It's... You can't do damage to me, I can't do damage to you. <sighs> well, so far my trend has been what after the first ep one episode after that? No, no, that's not true. I did make it through one episode without something dying. I've made it through two episodes without something dying. That sucks. I mean, that really sucks. Oh, Paula, I liked you. Oh, goodbye, Paula. I mean, Ferris cool too, don't get me wrong. Probably should have named her like Terra or something else. Um, let's move Robert to there. I will we'll rearrange the party out here. Since I'm thinking about it and Charlotte has a metronome on her, should something happen to Charlotte, I don't get to take the metronome off of her. If a Pokemon faints with a held item on, no matter what that held item is, I, I have to lose it. That's also a rule of mine that probably makes no sense. What you, what's your moveset? Can you do anything useful? I mean, tackle. Alright. Do you at least take a little experience? Now I have a double weakness to fighting and a double weakness, well, soon to be a double weakness to, a, triple weakness to electricity. Uh, I really, really liked you, Paula. I'll stop saying that eventually. Rub it in my face, why don't you? You know, Ponyta, Shinx, Starly, um, and Badu. Every one of them I said that I liked. And were some of my favorites. Apparently, it doesn't pay to be my favorite. So just, just 
keep that in mind. If I tell you, if I ever tell somebody here, oh, you're my favorite, don't, don't go like on a plane or anything like that or near a lightning storm. Stay off the bus. Come on, you got this, Sarah. Immediately after naming her Farah, which would have been more appropriate were she some sort of Ferris material, if I was sort of going for a bad iron joke. Oh, nice. I thought that Tara would have been a good name for her. But, well, I don't know. That's. That's okay. Of a Geodude on Geodude Massacre. Except that I don't want to take that long. I'm alone. These Geodude levels up really fast. At least compared to Ponyta's growth curve. It'll also be a while before I can catch something, because I caught something in the cave. Experience curve is terrible too. <clears throat> I think if I can do this with you, which is a terrible idea because it's going to take forever, you'll level up. Chop's always been a weird looking Pokemon to me, like, in all of its evolutions, I just, I just don't like them. They're good Pokemon. Hmm. Please hit yourself, it's the only way I'll do any damage to you. to snap out of confusion, and you're not supposed to repeatedly use focus energy, but that's fine. You know, if I don't switch out again, it's going to take forever. Unless you keep critting yourself. Like, unless you keep hitting yourself. I'd appreciate it if you could crit yourself, actually. But I don't think that's possible. Get my hit point back. Yeah, we'll switch. I want to switch back in Ferris so I can give him more of that same experience. But at the same time, I am alone can use it too. I shouldn't have very good special defense. Three way experience split, yay! So nobody wins! It's my own fault, I should wait till I at least have Astonish before trying to train Boobat on her own. But fair is gonna level up again. Felt 
I could sit doing grinding off screen, but I like it better when it's on screen, just that way you don't have to take my word for it when cool things happen or terrible things happen. One more hit. Yeah. Should really stop training her. Switch out for Boobad. Dang, do they level up so fast. Compared to like everything else I have. And then if it's a Ponyta, I can switch in Farah. We'll get Derv and Boobat leveled up a bit too. But I'm gonna go heal. Because while I don't really need to, I want to so I don't forget. Because I'm going to call it an episode and we'll continue grinding next time. Thank you everyone. And see you next time.